Welcome everybody to Jaguar Communications Hosted PBX. Today we're going to be showing you the Polycom VVX410. It's a color screen, 12 button phones that are programmable, and also four soft keys of which 10 soft keys can be programmed. And those might be things such as hold, transfer, conference, intercom, page, things like that. Those soft keys change based on whether I'm on a call or I'm receiving a call. I have hard-coded keys down here too for transfer and also for hold. So depending on my preference, whether I want to use these or the soft keys, it's up to you. There's also a message key down here. So if I have a red flashing light up here, I can press this button to retrieve my messages. And I can have that protected with a pin or it can be shut off so I can get right to my messages. Also over on this side is a is a uh, turn on or off button for a headset. I also have the speaker phone which is full duplex meaning two-way communication so both of you can talk at the same time and it doesn't clip your voice. Also a mute key. Also volume uh, changes here for as you see on the screen there my ringtones. Use that same button to adjust the volume on my handset you can see on the screen and I can use that same button to adjust the volume on my speaker. You can see that on the screen. We also take and pre-program the first button up here for direct inward dial. We use those last four button, four numbers of your direct inward dial as your extension. Every phone in your facility will have a direct inward dial number assigned to it. So anybody could call direct back to your phone rather than calling your main number and having somebody transfer it. Very convenient. Also another feature we put on here is called a park key. So that's basically a system hold. Rather than touching the hold key to hold it at your station, I can park a call and it's got a green flashing light not only on this phone but also the other phones in my office. So it would look very similar to this. I'm going to answer that call and park it. Now you can see that that call is parked. I got a green flashing light. I look at my other phones in my office and they've got the same thing. Now you'll notice the call that the phone that I called from, which is this one, it's got music on hold. I have two different music sources at this time that I can upload for you. Or I can give you tones on hold if you don't like music. Or you can add your own message on hold or music on hold if you choose. So that music will play if I put it in transfer hold my hold button to my phone or in park so it's got you covered moving back over this phone I'm going to simply retrieve that call again and I'm going to hang it up so that's how your park keys work the other things that we do is create some speed dials so if I want to press a button to call somebody else in my office that's all I got to do and those speed dials are called enhanced monitoring so it gives me an icon that tells me um, the state of somebody in my office whether they're on the phone or they're not. In other words this little button right next to here is going to give me a red light if they're on the phone. So I'm going to take one phone off hook and you see that red light comes on tell me user number two is on their phone. When they hang up that light releases so now I know that every phone, four of them that I've got here are available to take calls. So I can use that to call them or I can hit my transfer key when a call comes in and I can touch that button announce the call to them and simply hang up and transfer it. We also have what has what's called a blind transfer. Transfer button will come up here and a blind key button will come up so I can hit the transfer the blind button and just dial an extension and hang up and it just transfers the call without an announcement. That's what blind key does. There's also the do not disturb function on here it shows an icon up here with a, a little minus key on it and also show it up in the upper corner. When I'm in Do Not Disturb, it's giving me privacy in my office so that a call that's ringing in doesn't sit and ring. It does give me the ability to see it on my phone, so if I do want to answer it, I can do that. But it does not interfere with anybody that might be in my office. Simply touch that again and it removes the Do Not Disturb from it. Shows you a green button up here that you are available. I can also program any of these other keys to maybe a cell phone. Maybe I want to send it out to Ed's cell phone. So I can program cell phone on there and simply be able to touch that. I ring to his cell phone 
or I can hit transfer, touch that key, and it rings out to his cell phone. The nice thing about that is, is I still have call control. It means that if Ed doesn't answer his phone, or if I get his voicemail, I can bring the call back and resume the call with the caller and say, Ed's unavailable on his cell. Would you like me to call another extension, or would you like his voicemail? And be able to transfer his to a voicemail uh, station uh, if you choose. So a lot of little things that we can set up on this phone to try to tailor to your needs. Also what you're going to see over here is this little button that's kind of our scroll button and the select button that's in the middle. If I press to the left on here you're going to be able to see up at the top of that phone it says placed calls. So that tells me the calls that I placed out. So I've already got history I can choose the one that I want to call back, just pick up the handset at places that I call. Now if I press on the lower button, you're going to see it says missed calls. So that tells me all the calls that came in here and I want to call back, I just scroll down, pick it up, it places the call. And I press over to the left, it gives me the received calls that have come in here. Obviously I want to call back a sp specific person. So I just scroll down, I pick it up, it places that call. So how convenient is that? I mean, all of it is right there. You don't have to write things down or lie to memory. It's right here on your phone. So some other features here is what's called our home key. And it tells you, you know, different options that um, you can access. Messaging from your screen versus down here in a, in a hard-coded key. Your directory listing. You can go to that and it'll show you all your stations on your system along with anything that you've added through the web portal, dashboard, directories for speed dials to other companies and so forth. Also settings in here. I can go to the settings key by scrolling down and touching the center button. Go to basics and I can go down to ring type as an example. Choose my line and play the ring that's on there right now. Maybe I want to change that ring to a different higher pitch. So it gives me a little more separation from another phone that's nearby. Or maybe it's a higher pitch that I can hear in a noisier environment. So I'm able to just hit the select and it chooses that particular key. So those are some of the key things that um, we offer on these phones. And then also keep in mind that because this is a uh, Polycom phone, we choose the Gigabit phone. Meaning that I have the ability to plug in your data port to the back of this phone and also have another phone a port in there that I can plug your PC into. So this gives you what's called a converged network. One data line to be able to run both devices, your voice and your internet. We separate the voice out through its own VLAN, its own circuit, and we separate the internet on its own VLAN, its own circuit. So you'll never be using voice on the bandwidth over internet. It is dedicated voice back to our service never goes out over the internet. Very big distinction between what we do and other carriers out there. We give you a dedicated connection. Nobody else can um, interfere with that or cause congestion. Any other questions, please ask your salesperson. Thank you for watching this video.